Hello YouTube! Today, I'm going to show you how to solder a charging port like a pro. Ok, let's get it started. Here I've got a HDMI port for Xbox. And very first thing we are going to do is removing the existing port. I am applying flux and then going to use a heat gun to desolder this small unit. Uh, flux makes your soldering much easier, so don't forget to use flux. My hot air temperature is at 400 degrees Celsius, and the air below level is at 70%. As you apply heat to the component, grab a tweezer and try to touch the charging port to see if there is any movement. Do not try to remove the charging port when the solder joints are hard. You may break the contact pads on the motherboard side. Be patient. Ok, we have removed the charging port, I mean the HDMI port. Now, we are going to clean up the mess with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a brush. Time for us to remove any solder residue. To do that, we are going to apply some fresh solder and then I'll try to desolder with solder wick. The reason that I apply fresh solder the answer is, it simply makes your desoldering job much easier. Watch the video and learn what happens if you just try to desolder right away. As you see, it is tough to desolder without applying the fresh solder to it. But once we applied fresh solder, it is obviously easy. My iron temperature is at 350 degrees Celsius, 350. You can go a little higher than this if you need. Now I am applying fresh solder to the pads and going to desolder with the solder wick. If your iron is not hot enough, you may damage the pads at this stage. So be careful. Always clean up the mess with 99% isopropyl alcohol and a brush. Alright, next apply fresh solder on the pads. If you make breaches, try to remove with your iron or solder wick. Now get your new charging port and install it on the board. Try your best to align the contact pins to the pads. Time to solder the legs one by one for precise work. Always apply extra flux for better result. And never forget to use a fume extractor. Those fumes from the flux is very harmful. You don't want to risk your life. So you must solder in a well ventilated area. And if you make a bridge, remove the bridge with your iron or solder wick. After that, you'll need to solder again for the specific pin. When you're finished, use a tweezer to test the joint. See if all the legs are firm and intact. If you find a moving leg, try to solder the leg again. It is now time to apply solder to the four legs on the side. Make sure that you apply a lot of heat for proper soldering result. My iron temperature is at 400 degrees Celsius. If you cannot solder well, then try to use more flux. It always makes the soldering job easier and it provides better result by creating stronger solder joint. Clean up all the flux mess from the board and the component. If you don't clean up, you might have a corrosion in the future on the board and the component. And that corrosion sometimes damages the small components on the board. Once you finish it, that means you are done. And that was how to solder a charging port like a pro. If you have a problems, leave comments, we'll do our best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Bye!